no, 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 no. We are in the car. It's a little bumply. Bump, wait, no, it's a little bumpy. Not bumply. It's a little bumpy. It's a little jostly. But can I just tell you, I have known since fourth watch that I was going to need to release this word today. Yes, we already did a prayer call this week. Yes, we already had the, the Wednesday word, which is the prophetic word for the month of May. Yes, that was an incredibly comprehensive word. Nevertheless, God gave me this word as well. And I have to be faithful to release it because again, and, and you may have heard me say this before, but I really understand by this stage of the game that uh, as a prophet of the Most High God, my obedience uh, is linked to your blessing in so many cases. Um, can I just tell you, as I'm waiting for the room to fill up and we're waiting for people to come in, can I just tell you, since we released that word uh, for the month of May, the prophetic word for May of 2018, just two days ago, not even a full 48 hours. It's been something like, I don't know, maybe 40 hours. The praise reports have been so specific. According to that word, they have been abundant. And I know that it is only going to increase. Uh, I can't wait to release uh, what the Lord has given me. I've written it down. I've got my notebook right here. Uh, I've got my Bible right here. We're, go we're going to go according to what the Holy Spirit gave me. Uh, but but the, the, the anointing is very strong. The anointing is very high. And I want you to tap into this. I want you to get your blessing as well. Praise God. So uh, welcome to the broadcast. My name is Prophet JoLynn Whitaker. Uh, I am in full-time prophetic ministry. That is all I'm going to say about myself. Uh, this word is not about me. It's about you. It's about your blessing. It is about what the Lord is doing in this season and what God is getting ready to do, what he's already begun to do in this micro season of May 2018. We're on a very windy road. Uh, we are actually, my husband John and I, John is at the wheel. We are going from uh, where we've been for the last few days in Western New York. We are on our way into Manhattan. Uh, we've got some stuff to do in the city in Manhattan, praise God. So I'm traveling from Western New York into Manhattan at this particular moment. So bear with us as we are broadcasting from the car. But the word of the Lord cannot wait. Uh, I know that many of you are going to get your blessing on today because of this word. Therefore, I'm excited and I'm incredibly driven to release it to you. Uh, if you have not yet shared this broadcast, I just want to encourage you to go ahead and share. Just, just get radical and just swipe to the right on an iPhone, swipe up on an Android device. That will allow you to share on all the platforms. Share it wherever you feel led by the Holy Spirit to share. You will not hear me promote myself or try to sell you anything. That is not how I roll. Uh, I understand that, uh, that when I'm obedient to the Lord, God is a rewarder of the faithful. He is a rewarder of the obedient. That's how I get my blessing. So I'm not, I'm not going to try to do anything like that. Why am I asking you to share? Because I want many people to be blessed. Blessing must descend in the body of Christ. The favor of God must come powerfully en masse across the body of Christ. Prosperity must come to the body of Christ. Now, if you are listening to this word and you're like, you prophet, I'm already favored. God bless you, but let's help somebody else to get their favor. Or let's help you to get another dose of favor, right? Or hey, how about this? Don't you want to go to the next level? Uh, if you are listening and you are thinking, Prophet, I'm already prospering. Praise God. I am I am very uh, excited for you. And I'm going to stand with you for increased blessing to come to your house. But let's help somebody else get their blessing. Let's take you to another level so that you are now abundant uh, uh, to the point where you can be a blessing to somebody else. Amen. So that is why I want you to share. Uh, it's all about the numbers. It's all about just getting the message to many, many people. And so I thank you for the shares in advance. Praise God. Well, um, we're going to go ahead and get right into the word. Uh, again, I've got my, my notes right here and I've got my Bible right here. And I want to invite you to just sit back and absorb the word. Let me speak into your life. 
If you need prayer, I want to invite you to go to my website. There's a link in my bio and write to us for prayer. I am more than happy to pray for you. Let me see. Maybe I need to turn this down a little. Okay. Um, I'm more than happy to pray for you. If you are going through something and you just feel as though you need um, a, a woman of God, a prophet of the of the Lord to, to, to pray over you, um, please feel free to write to me. I'm happy to do so. But for this word, I want to encourage you to really just sit back and absorb. Let me speak into your life. This is for you. Now, when I tell you that I've been up since fourth watch getting this word, and I was actually writing my message for this coming Sunday, relevant church service and the Lord gave me this and he said now you're gonna to have to release this today because there's a timing to this there are you know there are times and seasons that the Lord has created so it is truly all about the timing praise God well I want to pray and then we're going to get into it okay father we come before you corporately God and we just praise your name father we exalt you in the name of Jesus God and we do so uh, with a joyful heart God but we also do so with an expectant heart father we need you to show up oh God we need your anointing to be present oh God we need your presence oh God uh, to saturate this message father to invade our atmosphere God to touch our lives God father I'm praying fervently for every single person under the sound of my voice all the people who are watching this message live as well as the people who are going to get this message on the replay god will you touch them in a personal way father you know who they are you know what they are dealing with and you know what they need father i'm praying for them god i'm praying for their specific needs god i'm praying for your will to be done in their life oh god i'm praying for their deliverance their healing their prosperity oh god i'm praying for their families and their marriages oh god for their minds and their health oh god and their finances god in the name of jesus for the bible says that you have good plans for us god will you enact good plans for everybody under the sound of my voice on today God not tomorrow God will you do something on today we exalt you in Jesus name we glorify you in the supreme and superior name of Jesus we seek and praise you in the priceless name of Jesus Christ amen and amen hallelujah to Jesus all right I feel like I gotta fix this and I don't want to try to fix it too much because I have everything just so. And I don't want anything to fall. Okay? Now, I'm going to tell you, if, if, if all of a sudden something falls, don't flip out. Don't freak out. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to get us back together. But right now, I'm looking at my setup. I think we're going to be okay for maybe 15 minutes. You might want to uh, take notes. And if you are so inclined to do so, if you are one who enjoys to take notes, I want to encourage you to grab a notebook, grab your Bible, and you may want to write some things down. I believe there are going to be some things that will be um, very uh, powerful for you to reference uh, later on. Praise God. However, if you would much rather to absorb the word, kick back and just soak it in, perfectly fine as well. I will leave this up for the replay. You can catch it uh, again later on YouTube and Periscope as well. Well, let's go ahead and get into this. I need to declare to you that it's going to be a fabulous Friday. God said, declare to the people, it's going to be a fabulous Friday. As a matter of fact, the entire month of May will be comprised of four fabulous Fridays. Somebody just go ahead and just get nuts and say, four fabulous Fridays. Four fabulous Fridays. The entire month of May. 2018 will be comprised of four fabulous Fridays. Now, the Lord has already said that May of 2018 will be a memorable May. In this month, he is going to be enacting divine justice. He's going to be liberating some people from bondage. He's going to be uh, loosing salvation uh, to where people can hear his voice 
feel his spirit and come out of their bondage and, and seek Jesus. Amen. So we're talking about bondage uh, from, you know, financial bondage, the bondage of false religion, the bondage of certain lifestyles, habits, so on and so forth. But he was also talking about justice, divine justice. I will not reiterate the full word for, for May of 2018. If you want it, I want to invite you to go back on YouTube and get that word. The whole word is up there on YouTube. You can go watch it. You can't miss it. It's right there on my YouTube channel under Joe Lynn Whitaker. But today I must stay with this word. It is a concise word. God said to loose a fabulous Friday over you. We're going to start with this. There is a select group of people who are going to be listening to this word. And the Lord said that for you, the fullness of time has been achieved. Okay? And I know that I just said some really big things like divine justice and, uh, you know, in a supernatural uh, induced salvation, you know, that type of thing. Um, and, and just so that nobody gets it twisted, I'm not saying that God's going to force Jesus on anybody. No. Supernaturally induced uh, salvation is not when he forces himself on you. That is when he allows you to see the deficits in your religious um, choice, the deficits in your false religion, the deficits in your addiction, the deficit in your lifestyle. And now, according to Lamentations chapter three, you are eight, you're not so far gone to where you can hear the voice of the Lord. You can feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. And now you begin to get a revelation and you are magnetized toward Jesus. Amen. So that's what we're talking about. And I realized that I said some very big things and it didn't be easy. It'd be real easy for us all to just get all caught up in that and just start jumping up and down and wagging our tails like puppies because it's exciting. But we can't do that. We, we have to go to this, um, the ne the first aspect of the message for this, is it morning? Yes, it's 11.15 Eastern time. So we have to go to the first aspect of this morning's message and that is simply this. The fullness of time has arrived for some people. How will you know that you are one of the people who, who this is for? Num two ways. Number one, the Holy Spirit will bear witness with you immediately. Okay? You're, you're just going to know that you know this is for you. Number two, it's going to begin to happen very quickly. This will not be a long-term manifestation. There is an acceleration that is present over my ministry and my life right now. Um, and so it'll happen quickly. God said days and weeks. Okay? This will not be months and months and it won't be years. It will be days and weeks. What do I mean by the fullness of time? Allow me to just expound on that briefly so that you can really receive the full a measure of what God is saying. There are some people who have been waiting for some time for God to do something for you. All right. Now, I'm not talking about people who have prayed and asked for something that God just has already decided not to give you. You know, you prayed for a relationship and you deep down, you know, it's not the right person. You prayed for, uh, to, I don't know, for a break on that job. And deep down, you know, that's not the job for you because you dream of owning your own business. Those are just two, um, you know, hypothetical, probably prophetic situations. But I'm not talking about things like that. I'm talking to the people you know that God told you something. You know God showed you something. You know it. You received the word. You received the confirmation. You know that you know it is for you. You know that ministry is yours. You know you belong living in that state. You know you don't belong in that city anymore. You know. You know that you are destined to, to open that business. You know. Open a business. Open. Okay. So you know what God showed you. And the Lord wanted me to tell you, for some of you, for the people this applies to, that the fullness of time has arrived. What do I mean by that? Well, there is a time and a season for everything. According to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, there's a time for everything. Now, I know that some of you have begun to feel a little, I don't want to say depressed, although maybe some of you have, but a little, a little heavy in your heart. Not a spirit of heaviness per se, but, you know, a little heavy in your heart. Because, you know, deep down, you know what God said. You know that it will come to pass. But there have been days and there have been some deep, dark, lonely nights where you have said, but when, God? But when? When will it be 
Lord. When will it come to pass, Lord? Um, thank you for the confirmation, God, that, that quickened my spirit. Thank you, Jesus. But when, God? And the Lord wanted me to tell you, for, for the people I'm talking to on today, that he was waiting for the fullness of time. You could not go up into the into where you are called because it is going to be an elevation. Whoa, John. Whoa, John. I got Mario Andretti at the wheel. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just I'm just teasing. That, that's how you drive when you're in New York. So it just kicks in because we're from New York. And the minute we get back here, my husband changes. He becomes a race car driver. It's 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 halfway cool. And, and halfway terrifying, but I think I like it. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, so so you could not go up. You could not go up while you were still wounded. Mm. You could not go up while you were not yet grounded. You could not go up uh, before you were delivered. You could not go up until you were healed. You could not go up while you were still broken. You could not go up while you were still bleeding. In other words, if your wounds were still bleeding, you were not ready to go up. Up where? To the next level. Up where? Into your, your place of elevation. Mm. Uh, and so God was waiting for the healing to complete. He was waiting for you to become grounded. He was waiting for, so don't be mad at me. And if you are, I love you anyway. But for some of you, he was waiting for you to be a little less flaky. He was waiting for you to be a little less emotional and a little more grounded. He was waiting for you to be a little less impatient and a little more submissive to him. Because after all, hear me well on today in the name of Jesus. It is his story. It's for his glory. Therefore, it is his timing and his way. Can I say that again? It is his story. Ultimately, it is for his glory. Therefore, it will be his timing, his way. And he was waiting for you to realize that. Because if you don't fully realize that, you could possibly, if not potentially, get to that place of manifestation and immediately have a meltdown at the first sign of trouble. Or immediately start pitching a tantrum, start pitching a fit, throwing a temper tantrum when you don't get your way. God had to let you uh, really uh, uh, even out. He had to let you mature. He was waiting for the maturation. And in some of you, he was waiting for the wound to heal. He was waiting for the wound to heal. He said that you couldn't go up. I'm talking to a man of God. It's a man. I don't know who you are, but man of God, you couldn't go up while you were still wounded. You couldn't go up while you were still talking about what happened to you. You couldn't go up while you were still talking about the injustice. You could not go up while you were still, while, while the venom was still on your lips. Now you and I know, I, I guess I know, I don't really even know your story, but I believe that you are completely justified to feel venomous. Some truly uh, in, in just, unjust, I don't think unjust is a word, but some truly unjust things were done to you. But God said he, he couldn't bring you up while you were still venomous. While the venom was still on your lips, he had to let that dissipate. He had to let you be healed. Otherwise, when you get to that place of culmination and manifestation, uh, the least little thing could set you off. The devil could bait you, lure you, and then get you on a technicality and get you bounced right out of position. Mm. So I pray that somebody caught the gravity of what the Lord just said there. He has to allow you to mature. He has to allow you to, to, he has to allow the distillation process, the spiritual mas, uh, maturation process. Otherwise, when you get to the place of your inheritance, when you get to your promised land, wherever that is, whatever it is, the least little thing the devil does to you, you can just set it off and now he can get you on a technicality and get you out. And so the Lord had to wait for the fullness of of time to come to pass but the good news on today in the name of Jesus is that for some of you the fullness of time has arrived and so now let me just tell you what's going to happen you might need to buckle up you might want to put on a safety belt and some of you might need to get like one of those safety helmets because God said it's going to happen very quickly I said God said it's going to happen very quickly this will not be months and months this will be days and weeks saith the Lord he's getting ready to move you quickly he's getting ready to shift 
arrive too quickly. You are requested. Your presence is requested. The time is now. The fullness, fullness of time has arrived. And so now you will shift. You must be ready to act fast. You must be willing to act fast. You must be ready to move fast, saith the Lord. Uh, some of you, and there are a handful of you. Matter of fact, I can. It's so funny how Holy Spirit sometimes shows me. But it's a whole grouping of people. I can see you in here. To God be the glory. Hallelujah for the visual, Lord. You are good and faithful, God. I give you the glory. I give you the glory. But the Lord is showing me a group of people, and He said that when He begins to do what He's getting ready to do, you are immediately going to get real practical. Now, listen. There are there are many areas in life where we must be. Your stewardship requires a practical mind. Uh, uh, your, your financial stewardship, your stewardship of property, you must have that quality in place. However, there's it's not going to be practical what he's about to do. In fact, it's going to be downright weird because it will be supernatural. So don't think too much. God said just be ready to go. Just be ready to just literally get up and go. Amen. And some of you are going to feel like you just are flying by the seat of your pants and God said, yeah, that's right. Because that's how I roll. That's how I move. You will feel as though you are being caught up and just taken and just blown right into a new season to God be the glory. And now I want to talk to another group of people. We're going to switch gears. Praise God. Another group of people. And I'm very, I'm very blessed to say this is a, a smaller group. Uh, thank God for that. So, so, so can I just tell you that like, y'all have been really working on yourselves. Apparently you have really been working on your spiritual growth. You've been working on you. You've been working on your relationship with Jesus because this second group of people is significantly smaller than the first group. And the, the word for you is simply this. God said, old habits will not create a new destiny. I'm talking to the people who you just heard that first word. It got you excited. But at the same time, there is like a little squeeze on your heart because you know in your gut it's not yet for you. Okay? Do not be discouraged. In fact, be encouraged. The Lord said old habits will not create a new destiny. You, you will get your chance. The fullness of time will arrive for you. Your season will come. Your time will come. Your opportunity will come if, everybody say if, mm, everybody say, come on, group effort. Everybody say if, if you allow the Lord to grow you. If you allow the Lord to heal you, if you allow the Lord to mature you spiritually, baby, you got to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You got to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Old patterns will not bring you into a new season. Now, let me validate you quickly. Okay. I'm not condoning, but I, I do want to validate. I don't know who the red wine drinker is, but I'm calling you out right quick. Red wine. You know, Merlot, Cabernet, either or. You got your favorites, but it's definitely red wine, right? Okay. Here's the problem with you and that red wine. With that red wine in your life, you are not as clear and as focused and as grounded as you need to be in order to receive the things that you are begging God for and you are begging. a dramatic pause for an effect. You are begging. I know you are, sweetheart. You cry about it. I see tears. I literally see tears. There are times to where you literally lay in your bed and you cry. And there are times where you are kneeling down at the side of the bed and you cry. There have been times in your kitchen. It's a pretty kitchen too. There have been time, cute kitchen times in your kitchen at your, in your kitchen where you literally break down and begin to cry because there are certain things that you want so very badly, you feel like time is running out for you. You feel like time is passing quickly. You feel like you are not who you used to be. You feel like you are, I mean, you feel like you're actually losing your looks. Do I have your attention? Well, God can redeem the time. God can restore you. God can renew your youth. He 
he can mount you up with wings like eagles. He can uh, renew your energy. Isaiah 40, 31, Joel 2 and 25. He can give you back all of that. But he's going to need you to drop some of the habits that are preventing you from accessing the, the things that you're begging for. You can't take those old habits into a new season. Now, for the people who are saying, well, this is good, but I don't drink. Okay, um, let's let's not get caught on a technicality, all right? Let, let's, not, let's not get caught on a technicality. Uh, make it whatever your thing is. What is your thing? Gossip? Is it, is it, I mean, do you need to unplug from fake news? Do you need to unplug from television and get more into the word of God? Do you need to unplug from the wrong people? Do you need to be to stop telling everybody your business and then wondering why do they talk about me? My goodness, everybody is against me. Baby, if you stop telling them everything, you won't give them anything to talk about. Come on now. Uh, uh, is it weed? Do you need to stop smoking? I, I mean, so whatever it is for you. God is calling you to drop the thing or things that are preventing you from accessing the things that you truly want. If you did not know that you were called to more, you would not be listening to a prophet of God. If you did not know that you have seeds of greatness in you, uh, you would not be chasing Jesus. If you did not know that you were born to be relevant and significant, you would not be here listening, period. But you must be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You must allow the Lord to change the way you think, change the way you speak, change the way you see things, and change the way you live. In other words, he's got to give you a head-to-tail makeover, baby. A tip-to-toe uh, makeover. John, I think you're getting a call, babe. You know what my first clue was? The phone rang. Sorry. So, so you need to allow the Lord to give you a tip-to-tail makeover. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You got to wash your mind in the word. I don't know if you listen to my relevant church services, but you, you truly should. You, you need to start attending our services every Sunday. You need to start being on the Wednesday morning prayer call. Oh, but it's early in the morning. Yes, baby, I know. But, but if you want much from God, you need to be giving much to God. Some people want a full-time God blessing on a part-time service to the Lord. God does not give full-time benefits to a part-timer who shows up drunk and hungover. What do you think this is? This is not some Buddhist stuff. This is not some fake religion. We're not talking about, you know, uh, uh, counterfeit Allah, uh, Buddha. Uh, what are some of the other? Disney on ice. What was, was that one I really actually love? Um, let it go, let it go. What is that show? That, okay, you, you know what I'm saying? This is not some fake stuff. When you are talking about the God of the universe, Jesus Christ, the real Messiah, the only one, you have to do things on his level. If you want to go to another level, you must come up to his level. Praise God. The Lord is calling you to a place of renewal. He says that when you get there, he'll meet you there. And he's going to begin to give you the things that you're asking for. But you must be a ready container. Praise God. Old habits will not create a new destiny. So you're being called to a higher standard so that you can access a higher standard. Praise God. Now, uh, here is the third thing that I need to release to you. One of my favorite things to talk about, can I just tell you, I get excited about this. The Lord told me today to talk about and to release financial breakthrough today. Financial breakthrough today. Your financial breakthrough is here today. It's not still coming. It's not something you need to still pray for. I need you to tap in, believe, and receive in the name of Jesus. But hear me very well. God said it's going to be however he wants to do it. The Lord said that he's going to be activating whatever he can around you. It may come in the form. Let, let, let's just go ahead and make it official. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that you are entering a heavily saturated period of time where the, the, the clouds are full and God is getting ready to send rain into your life. He's going to rain on your seeds. He's going to rain in your life. I call forth your harvest in 
in the name of Jesus to everyone who has seed in the ground. I announce to you, well, hold on. If you have seed in good ground, if you have seed in fertile ground, I came to announce today that your harvest is coming. I'm calling for the release of the harvest in the name of Jesus. God, release their harvest on today, oh God. Release their harvest, oh God. In the name of Jesus, I call for the release of your harvest in Jesus' name. I call for divine multiplication on your seed. Divine multiplication, the very first miracle Jesus ever did was a miracle of divine multiplication at that very first wedding miracle in Cana. I call for divine multiplication in the name of Jesus according to Malachi 3 and 10. I call for daily provision according to Matthew 6 and 33. I decree and declare new jobs in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare promotions in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare bonuses in the name of Jesus. Unexpected financial bonuses. Unexpected checks in the mail. Unexpected financial windfalls in the name of Jesus I decree and declare financial breakthrough witty ideas strategies for wealth God is going to prosper the work of your hands he is going to prosper your businesses he is going to increase your territory in the name of Jesus hallelujah I, I just happened to look down I noticed somebody said they need healing praise God I, I speak healing over you but hear me very well today is a very specific word for these things I prophesy healing over you. Jesus is a God who heals. I want you to write to us for a specific healing prayer if you need that, but you need to let me stay in this flow for the P and, and claim your money while you're at it. Claim your money, but I prophesy healing over you in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare financial increase in Jesus name. I decree and declare brand new jobs, promotions in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God, open the heavens, oh God. Let the rains come forth, oh God. Father, we thank you for the overflow. We thank Thank you for the bonuses. We thank you for the checks in the mail. We thank you for the you. They are literally going to say, my goodness, I forgot that I owe you this money, but somehow I just want to pay back the money that I owe you. So Jesus, receive it now in Jesus name. For God has said that your season of financial breakthrough is here. I'm calling for the harvest to come in. I'm calling for your harvest to come in. I'm calling for increase to come to your household. I decree and declare that the season has arrived where God is going to establish you. He's going to fill your pantry. He's going to fill your vessels. He's going to fill your accounts. He is going to establish you. He's going to make you blessed to be a blessing. He's going to turn many of you into a lender and you are no longer going to be a borrower. God is going to empower you to bless other people. Your life will speak. Somebody say, my life will speak. Say, my life will speak. You are going to be so established, so abundant, so prosperous. I'm going to break that down for you. Hold on. You are going to be so established, so abundant, so prosperous that when people look at your life, they're going to know something about your God. They're going to look at you and immediately know something about your Jesus. Now, when we speak, uh, you need to lift your hands right now and just receive that in Jesus name. talk about prosperity and we study out the Lord's definition of prosperity and I have studied I have studied the, the definition in depth um, in Aramaic in Hebrew in Greek as I wrote my book stepping into favor I really needed to understand what is favor what is prosperity so I want to I want to share something with you when we talk about the prosperity of God here's what I need you to understand it will be so much more than money. Oh, it will be money. Because God is not a cheap God. And he does not desire for you to struggle financially. Hence, the release of this financial word today. However, the prosperity of the Lord coming on your life will bring harmony to your household. It will bring, uh, it will bring a connectivity and a connection to your marriage. It will bring peace in your spirit. It will bring health to your body. It will bring in abundance to your business. 
It will bring a, a cohesion to the whole family unit. It will bring a respectful relationship between you and your children because things will flourish. Say flourish. Things will flourish. All things concerning you begin to prosper. They begin to flourish. Therefore, your finances thrive. Your family thrives. Your marriage thrives. Your health thrives. Thrives. That's why I told the person asking for healing. Hold on, we're, we're okay. You gotta hear me. Your health thrives. Your 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 mindset thrives. Your 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 emotions are balanced. Therefore, your therefore your whole life can thrive. And yes, your wealth sector thrives. That is the prosperity of God, and that is what He had me to prophesy over you on today. Now, in wrapping this up, let me tell you what's going to happen, and it's going to blow your mind, and I hope it excites you. God said this is going to be a month where he's going to breathe on every single Friday. Why? I don't know. But every single Friday, he's going to breathe on every single Friday. John, I can't wait to see the praise reports that come in every Friday starting today. Today is May 4th, the first Friday of the month. And remember that we are in a month that God has already ordained to be a memorable May. Friday, May 4th is the first fabulous Friday. The second fabulous Friday will be Friday, May 11th. And then we will have Friday, May 18th. The fourth and final fabulous Friday this month will be Friday, May 25th. Let me tell you what's going to happen. Every Friday, he's going to turn up the heat and increase the intensity. Every Friday, he's going to turn up the heat and increase the the intensity. I said, Lord, why are you doing this? He said, I need my people's faith to go to another level. I need people to understand that I can do anything. I need people to understand that I am the God of everything in this world. I don't, I don't, I am no respecter of persons. He said, I am also no respecter of systems. I don't care about the system. I don't care about the so-called establishment. I don't care about the laws of man. We have to obey them, but God does not. He said, I want my people to see that I may I made it all, I can touch it all. I made everybody, I can touch anybody. I made everything, I can do anything. God said he's going to turn up the heat and increase the intensity every single Friday this month. Every Friday will be a fabulous Friday, but every Friday is going to increase. Now between you and I, as soon as I get off this broadcast, I am going to go check our emails. I don't really check our emails anymore. It's not my job anymore, but I'm going to check them today because I can't wait to see the praise reports that I know are already, it's already happening. How do I know? Because I'm seeing notifications. So I can't wait to go check the praise reports and I 100% fully expect for those praise reports to intensify as the month goes on. And I need you to lift your hands right where you are and just let me prophesy over you in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you for this word. Lift your hands and receive it. God, I thank you for this word, Father. I thank you for your power, God. I thank you for your presence, God. What are we that you would be mindful of us, God? But we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. And we just receive this, God, enthusiastically. We receive this, Lord, uh, gratefully. God, we ask you to work on us, God. Expose anything in our lives, God. Let it be exposed. Anything that we need to be aware of that needs to be healed, changed, or shifted so that we can receive what you are doing, God. And we thank you for what you are doing. God, we receive your prosperity. We receive your financial increase. We receive your supernatural multiplication on our seeds. God, we receive your supernatural healing. We receive cohesion in our family. We receive harmony in our household. We receive a healthy marriage, God. We receive salvation for our children and loved ones. God, we receive divine justice. We receive a memorable May. And God, we thank you and we celebrate you on this first fabulous Friday. God, we will be careful, God, to give you and only you all the glory. We'll give you all the glory, God, for what you're about to do. And Father, when you bless us, as you bless us, God, as you begin to do this, God, as you begin to fulfill this word, God, and know, Lord, it will not return void. For you are not a man that you should lie, but you watch over your word to perform it. God, as you fulfill this word, we will testify, God. We will tell everybody what you did. We will just shout it from the rooftops, God. It will be for the name and the fame of Jesus Christ. 
Oh God, we love you and we thank you in advance. We praise you in advance and we seal this, God. We seal it with the blood of Jesus. Amen and amen. Woo, hallelujah. These people, every once in a while, I get a glimpse of people looking at me like, what's she know? What am I doing? I'm prophesying to God's people so we can prosper, baby. That's what I'm doing. I'm prophesying because we are in a season where we are going to prosper. Well, I pray this blessed you. That is it for now. I think we're, we're, we're about probably halfway uh, there to New York City. We're only here for a day. We're just in town for, for a little um, something we have to attend there. Um, and then we're going to head right back to Western New York, uh, I believe, on tomorrow. But thank you for being with me. I, I pray that this blessed you. Uh, if you are so led to sow into this word, I want to encourage you to do so. But listen, I'm not asking. I'm 100% not asking. Only if you understand the principle of seeding and sowing, then, then do it. But if not, I'm praying for you and standing with you no matter what. But if you understand it, I encourage you to go for it. Praise God. I speak a fabulous Friday over you in the name of Jesus. I prophesy a memorable May over you in Jesus' name. I prophesy divine multiplication over everything that you have sown for the harvest is coming forth in the name of Jesus and it is coming forth quickly, saith the Lord. I love you all very much. I am praying fervently for you. I am standing with you for your breakthrough. I will see you on social media. Stay tuned because I have some amazing announcements coming up for you guys super soon. You know I've been working on a surprise, right? So I love you very much. I'll talk to you soon. God bless you.